Hey, welcome back to Harley Jack's Barbecue. This morning, we're gonna be prepping up some steak fajitas so we can get them on the grill tonight. So, let's get started. Okay, here we got a, just a freezer bag. I'm gonna use to marinate these here. I picked up two skirt steaks. Probably gonna do about six hours. I'm do six to eight hours. I wouldn't go over eight though. And the reason for that, just so we can tender up the meat, because the stuff can be pretty tough. Okay, we're gonna start out with some Worcestershire sauce. Do about half a cup. Okay, here I've got two limes that I cut in half. Okay, here I've got some cayenne pepper olive oil. I'm just going to put about a quarter cup of that. Here I got some red hot franks. Just use your favorite hot sauce, it don't matter. I had this handy at the moment, so it's pretty good stuff. Just gonna put probably a tablespoon. Not a whole lot. Then here I'm gonna add some beef consomme. Just kind of boost up the beef flavor a little. One tablespoon of paprika. One tablespoon of onion powder. One tablespoon of garlic pepper. By Fiesta brand. And one tablespoon of fancy light chili powder. And because I love black pepper, we're going to add a tablespoon of that. Alright, now we got that all incorporated. Going to mix it all up. Alright, like I said, get that all mixed up. We're going to get this in the fridge. Probably going to let, like I said, we're going to let it marinate for a good six hours just so we can tender it up. So, we'll see in just a little bit. Okay, so we got our skirt steak marinated for six hours. Went ahead and pulled it out, put it in a pan, and I used some Chef Manito's steak seasoning. And then from there, put that to the side. I got my grill heated up to about 225 using pecan briquettes by Kingsford. Got that up to temperature. We're going to do a reverse sear. So uh, got the meat on now. So we're gonna let that go probably a good 20, 30 minutes and uh, we'll check it from there. So we'll see you in a bit. Okay, so we've been on for about 40 minutes. I'll let it go a little longer. So we're about 120. So I'm gonna go and pull them, get our grill heated up to about 650. And then we'll reverse sear it. So we'll see in just a minute. All right, got our grill heat up to 650, so let's get her on. All right, we've been on a minute, so gonna give it a little turn. Go another minute. All right, time to flip. All right, it's been another minute. Like I said, we're doing the same thing on this other side, so. 
a minute on each, two minutes actually. That go a minute and we'll be ready to pull her off. All right, these dudes are done. Whew, look at that. Okay, so from here I'm gonna put some butter on them. Just gonna let these dudes rest for a good 15, 20 minutes and we'll cut into her. All right, so we had her skirt steak. Fajita's resting for, I don't know, a good 20 minutes. So just wanna dig in. Look at that. I'm gonna grab one of these bad boys. I don't know if you know it, but on fajitas, you can see the grain runs this way. So what we're gonna do is chop it and then cut against the grain. So let's get her going. Right, now we're gonna turn them this way and cut against the grain. goodness all right now we got that done i'm gonna build some fajitas so let's get her okay just a couple slices I like it pretty meaty <laughs> i got some pico that i made up in here got some cheese use your favorite cheese this is my favorite Put a little bit of that on. And squeeze some lime. All right, let's dig in. Pretty tasty. Hey, hope y'all enjoyed that video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell. Give that recipe a try. So we'll catch you in the next one. Cheers. Harley Jack's barbecue. Tastes so good, make you want to slap your mama.